pipelines, which I know have been an ongoing event and an ongoing uh, project for a lot of people for a lot of time. And it's really exciting to see that happening now. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. You know what? I'm just going to say thanks very much. Enjoy your day. It's a pleasure to be here, and welcome to you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Barbara. And I as well want to acknowledge uh, a former councillor, uh, Marvin Hunt, who is currently the MLA for Panorama. And we have See, four councillors on the stage. Bruce Ralston was a former councillor. I'm a former councillor. We are here in spades. Vera, Vera LeFranc is a councillor, so not bad, eh? Not bad. Uh, we are going to do the sign in a minute, but I, I want to just take this time for those of you who don't get to the historic booth, and that's okay. It is called Wally's Corner for a reason. And it is named after Arthur Wally who in 1925 moved his family from Cloverdale to this corner here. He bought this big triangle of property for $700. And in the first winter, his family lived in tents all winter while they built an auto court. Do people know what an auto court is? An auto court is like this little drive-in early motel kind of place, right? But they were called auto courts back in the day. A gas station and a store. And people started to come to get gas, started to come to get local groceries. Then when the Patello Bridge opened in 1937, the traffic really increased. Wally got developed more, more businesses, more homes. The Wally's Corner name stuck because the blue bus line from New Westminster used to come up the hill and the bus driver who let passengers out at the gas station or the store would call Wally's Corner. And that's how it got the name. And that name stuck for a very long time until there was a contest and people said, maybe we shouldn't call it Wally anymore. Maybe we should call it something fancier. Maybe we should call it, who knows? So they had a contest with a $50 prize that the province newspaper offered. They got 1,500 names submitted for a new name. And this was just after the Second World War that this occurred. So they got names like Churchill, Mount Batten, you know, Coventry, names that you can imagine sort of coming around after the Second World War. But, as they say, 1,500. And out of all of those, a woman from New Westminster won the $50 prize because the vote was that the name would be Wally. So people have chosen for a long time, since 1925, to call this Wally. And we are proud of that, and we celebrate that today, and we celebrate its history. I want to thank, I, I'd like Barbara Steele to come up for a moment and just be with me here if she could. Um, about a year and a half ago, a lot of people started to say, I wonder if we can acknowledge this Wally Historic District in a different way. I wonder if we could have signs, signs that, you know, street signs, business signs that acknowledge that this is an important historical part of Surrey. And a lot of people, the Wally Community Improvement Association has been instrumental in driving this initiative forward. So has the BIA, so has the Wally Community Association, so has the Heritage Commission at Council, thank you Barbara, in getting that to Council. So has Council, the businesses, and people, everybody has been part of this initiative. And I want to thank everybody who wrote a letter, made a call, or just was personally really excited and pleased to know that we could do this. So I'm going to ask Barbara Steele if she will please unveil the, Sir, the Wally Historic District sign.